Today is um, March the 3rd, 2015. And yes, indeed, we are running out of 2015. It's taken me some time to do this video because it is so Okay, I gotta stop. 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 All right, you gotta understand something. With these videos, we're trying to convince people, but there are other people trying to convince of something different. This is the what I call the white woman's, the white media, the white narrative, and I don't mean white, I mean satanic, because every, I believe that no one shares a pigment, I really believe within a family, within a, within and without of the DNA, the genealogy, genealogic, let's look that up. I don't want to be throwing around words. A unit of inheritance that is transferred from one from a parent to offspring from a parent. Hmm. And it's held to determine some characteristic of the offspring coded by genes. A distinct sequence of nucleotides forming part of the chromosome. The order of which it determines the order of mono 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 meaning one mers, whatever mer is, and a polypeptide, poly meaning many, or a nucleic acid molecule which a cell or a virus may synthesize. A line of descent traced continuously from an ancestor combining. Okay, the thing that I'm saying is there is no, like, one person. There is no one tribe. So I was saying earlier, it took me a long time to do this video because it is very important to me to convey the thoughts that I have about what I'm about to speak of, speak on or blog on. What is a tribe mentality? It is loosely defined as submitting yourself to the group think of greater control group that you should stereotypically belong to. In this case, a person's racial identity group in the case of black people, the tribe can place responsibility for the poor decisions and actions of others upon you, as well as levy a tax of responsibility to behave or think in a certain way as payment to ancestors that have struggled. I think I could go on with this, but I just wanted to kind of qualify what I mean. I don't belong to any groups. I mean, I belong to, I'm, I'm part of my family, but I don't belong to my family. But as much as I don't belong to them, I am a part of them, all right? And we don't even get along. But you got these forces that are trying to create this black man's mentality that you never attack the black woman. The black woman is never wrong. If you cannot realize, I'm pretty sure you can read.
I just do not like blaming the black woman when they are truly the most victimized people on the planet. This is the reason why I showed this first, because black women are murdering. They're, they're an American horror story. And these are their attorneys. These are their apologists. They apologize for the black woman. Everybody needs to be lifted. Everybody needs not to be torn down. Now, you're going to see the same lady tell me how everybody needs to be lifted up and all that crap and all the black women. And it's not all that crap. It's true. But in her case, she's only talking about only the black woman. You they down the father of my child and blow his brains out with a thought of shotgun. I don't know. I just can't say enough. You are a blight on the face of earth. That's is he lifting me up? I'm not gonna bore you with all of this. I'm just trying to make a point that there is a force out there that wants that thinks that I'm a miserable piece of shit, but the black woman is some kind of goddess or something. We all have the ability to be as beautiful as we allow ourselves to be. You are one low-life motherfucker. Yes, indeed. Help you, Heavenly Father, if anyone is really interested. And I hope no one really could give a fuck. I have known this... Talking about me. I have known this man for... Uh, I've known this man that made the video for 25 years. And I will gladly tell you that in, this is my message, a private conversation, that this dickhead feel the need. I never exposed her. She exposed herself. I never, the only thing I said was V. But all this is just like some kind of apology for abortion. This is the reason why I'm glad that it, it's, it's staying on track. This is where this is going. The black woman is the most dangerous person in, in the black community. The most dangerous. The most likely to commit murder by Abortions or. But anyway, I always thank people for their comments and I still love her for being the friend that she was back in the past and just for being the human being. And she's confused, but she's a nice lady. And I hope that you all pray for her and love her. This is a story that really hurts because um, it's in the city that I live in, and I, I know these type of women. North Charleston woman who confronted and killed her boyfriend gets stand your ground immunity. She defended her car. She went out. It doesn't even matter. You know, Heavenly Father, the Most High, you know, it's constantly... You know, encouraging me to get out of the uh, the melee, get out of the uh, the trying to be God and trying to solve everything and trying to convince people because you can't convince people. You know, so I I do my art. This is this is a. Um, a picture that I, uh, it's called HDR. It, it's, um, it's, uh, a manipulation of the camera to take the camera in, you know, in a, in a, a bunch of different exposures. So you capture each nuance of gradation in light. This is at a college that I went to. The man, I call it the Mammy College, but I still was able to get something out of it. So, the Most High Jehovah Elohim Emmanuel, you know, I don't want to think about these things all the time, but I do want to, do I do hear people spreading lies? Uh, about how... 
you know, all these walls and everything. I've had my ups and downs, but I, there's no white people against me. Except for, like, the Democrats. It's very easy to fool the so-called Negro, the so-called black man, the so-called black person. So easy. But anyway, yeah, this lady got off. Get stand your ground immunity. Yep, she killed a black man. No Black Lives Matter. No NAACP. No fucking Al Sharpton. Because it was a black man and it was a black woman doing it. They have got motherfucking a, a, a license to kill. They've got a license to kill. time. I give you an estimate time. We just drove 12 hours from Alabama to Florida. I'm just a few minutes late. You live right around the corner. We don't have to go through this. Please, let's not do this. Not right now. Let's not do this. Do what, Kevin? You the one doing it, baby. You didn't got married again, have more kids. So what is it that you don't want me to do? This right here. This is what I don't want you to do. We have to go through this drum. I didn't make this video, but I do compile videos to as you know, I hate to keep repeating myself, but I want to try to make a consistent thread through the videos. Number one, when it's one, there's no fun. And that one might be me. It might be this guy. Because he's the one that put his penis in there. Came out with, with this, this is the life. That you, you, this, is, this is the reason why in biblical scriptures, I don't want anybody to go read the Bible because I said I read the Bible. If you are led to it, if you're drawn to it, but if you're not drawn to the Bible, go look at a scripture. Go look, go look at a theorem. Go create a hypothesis and then go true, prove it true or, or untrue. Use um, empirical. Okay, empirical, it's based on concern with verifiable observation or experience rather than theory. Now, you can have a theory, but the theory, just because you have a theory, it doesn't make the theory true. Or just logic, that if you drop something out of your hand, it's going to, gravity is going to pull, it's logic, you know, the progression is logical that the, that thing that drops out of your hand is not going to go up into the atmosphere. It's going to hit the ground. All right? Empirical evidence. You know, you can't see the wind, but you can certainly see what it does. All right? That's empirical. Go create your... Go make your own videos. If you can't make a theorem, if you can't make a hypothesis, if you don't have empirical logic and... and um, um, if you can't deduce, then just go make a video. That's much easier than all the things I just just mentioned, okay? But anyway, I try to, to show through drama and through uh, actual events what my my uh, hypothesis is, is that the black woman is the most dangerous person in the, in the so-called black community. Every time, every time I come drop my daughter off, pick her up, we got to go through this. And she shouldn't have to see us go through this. This is some kind of welcome. I'm not the one who brought my trick to the drop-off point. Why she here anyway, Kevin? 
Mm-mm-mm. It's time to go. We do not have to be disrespected. Let's go. Oh, so the trick tells you what to do, huh? You you not talking to me no more? It, our conversation is over? You can bring forth a child from the dung hill. And I mean, the dung hill is all of us. We, let, we all make it. We all talk it. But out of the two, the two dung hills, you get this wonderful malleable. Let's look up malleable. I like that word, but I want to make sure I'm using it. Able to be hammered or pressed permanently out of shape without breaking or cracking. All right. Easily influenced, pliable. All right. The child is malleable. This is the point where you impress upon the baby what you were going to want it to be going forward. You know, like bend the sap while it's young, okay? Because once they, once that sap sh sh settles into the shape that it's going to have forever, it's going to be that unless you break it. And you know what? The Most High can break you. We all can be broken. We all can be broken. But why should we have to break her if we can make her into the path in which? objectively she should go an objective behavior to be a lady not to to get married to wait to not be sexually lascivious not just for this beautiful baby but there's so many things just let's just go with a couple of things let's say please and thank you please and thank you teach a child how to say please and thank you teach a child how not to judge all right, and then teach a child not to act like the mother of the, the in this drama. Okay, okay. Well, guess what? I'm getting all my arrears. Both y'all behinds gonna pay me. Okay, I'm going shopping for a house. I'm going shopping for a car. I'm going shopping for furniture. Okay, I got two words for you, boo boo. There is a lot of technology out there, and I'm thankful to the people who are able to capture this. I would have never made this video, but I'm happy to be able to use it as a citation. But you know what? It doesn't matter. A black women can get getting away with murder. That is the title of this, this this video. They get away with murder. They get away with everything. As long as they keep it within the community. But that, you know what? They're going to turn on society. And they already have. They're going to turn on not just the black man. Who they, that's their, their attack dog. Ah. Payment. Because you know when you marry. You only consider one income. For many fathers, this is a familiar scene. Baby mamas make threats to report you to the child support agency even while you're already supporting your child. Many baby mamas report lies to the child support agencies on good fathers. Even when fathers have proof to discredit her lies, he still finds his payments increased, wages garnished, or income taxes seized. For this reason, Team Price Enterprises is calling all father-friendly family law practitioners, counselors, politicians, and media personalities to help support our cause. We advocate for good men, good fathers, to finally receive equal solicitation and fair treatment by agencies and the laws that decide their cases. Please advertise your services on our directory page for needing fathers. To contact you at the low price of $75 for 12 months. 
We also welcome donations. Fathers, visit us at www.nobabymamadrama.com for help. Alright. Okay. This is the Hegelian dialect. Okay, we'll talk about that on another video. Um, I wanted to show something. This is one. That, this is a mainstream commercial. Oh, this is about the the father. There's a father in the home, and this is the fox that wants to get in the hen house. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made the most funny. And you know what? There's so much truth in humor. Just because... All right. This is what I wanted to say. It's just because something is funny doesn't make it true, not true. Now, I really admire the execution of this art right here. Look at the way he's looking at her because she looks good. She's 16. She's beautiful, and she's mine. Yep, but no, because you know what? Daddy's in the house. Now, you see this guy right here? He's not big. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is little, but he's a man, and he's in the house. And that's his daughter. And I know you. And we know... You know what, young man? I've been wh where you are, okay? And I've known guys like you, okay? So, you know what? I'm not going to kick your ass. I'm not going to cuss you out. I'm going to fuck with you. Because you want to fuck my daughter. I don't have a daughter. Thank goodness. Now... This is such a social commentary because when you take the father out of the home, all kinds of fucking, when you take the, oh my goodness, the, 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 the fox moves into the hen house. That's the fox who's going to eat the chickens, you know, but he's there and that's, the way you, as a father, when, when when some guy comes around talking about he wants to see your daughter, it's like, well, I want to see you. You want to check my daughter out? I want to check you out. But that's been removed from the so-called black community. Why y'all? Why you all are laughing? Here you go. That's your chip. I see you're bigger than me, but I can outthink you. And I'm pretty sure I know how to kick your ass. But that might not even have to come to that. It doesn't have to come to that. It's like he can call the police. He can get police surveillance if he sees something that's getting out of hand. Look at her. She just wants. She just wants what any young girl or young boy wants. But this is the difference. This is the difference right there. Is the father. Let's get. I'm gonna get over this. This is. If you care about your children, you gotta, okay, put it like this. Whatever you 
expect, you have to inspect. I'm going to look that word up because I think we all know what it means, but Inspect. Look at someone or something closely. Typically to assess their condition or to discover any shortcomings. Uh, all right. Did you get that? Examine someone or something to ensure that they are that they reach an official standard. Uh, how about like just break it down and call it objective standards, objective behavior, please and thank you. Eye contact, firm handshake. I'm not judging anybody, but I'm just telling you. The, the black women today don't have a father doing this. They don't have a father doing that. 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 And doing this. All right? They made you laugh, but at the same time, Hyundai, which I'm not a big fan of cars, but I do, if there's any type of award that I can give, I'm going to give an award to Hyundai for making this commercial, because it is certainly going against the grain of, where's the big old stupid fat, gr anyway. This is, this is a good commercial because not because it's funny, because this, it's what is missing in the black community, and it's the the father. The father is missing. Stop it, please. The black woman is the the pit bull that has been sicked on the so-called black community. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to um, Tommy Sotomayor is fantastic. Uh, this is a story of, similar to what I was telling you about with the car Edwards. Um, that's the lady in Charleston that um, killed uh, her boyfriend because he she, her car was in danger. Nothing but news delivered to you with no filter and no doing it, Tremendous work. He's doing tremendous work in the community to bring awareness. And, and things that I'm trying to bring awareness to. Who's public enemy number one? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TNN News Raw. I'm your host, Mr. Tommy Sotomayor. Today's news is about an 18-year-old hood whore, one of the BT Lem Hunnets. That's right, BT Lem Hunnet running wild. And this BT Lem Hunnet has run wild and killed her boyfriend. Yep, by stabbing him to death. This BT Lem Hunnet's name is Nakasha James, 
and she killed her boyfriend, and his name was uh, Dorian Powell. Dorian Powell was a 21-year-old young man with tattoos on his neck. His girlfriend had tattoos on her arm and stomach. They were a match made in hood hell and ended the way a lot of black men's lives have at the hands of a black queen. Don't believe me? Well, the woman actually alerted everyone of her murderous deeds. And guess how she did it? Like most black bitches do. She put it on damn social media. After killing her boyfriend, she took to Facebook first before taking to EMS or even the police. Check this out. A man is murdered. Now police are searching for his ex-girlfriend after they say she posted an alleged confession on Facebook. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Colleen Sullivan in for David Ono. I'm Ellen Lehman. This is Eyewitness News at 4 o'clock. 21-year-old victim was fatally stabbed early yesterday morning. His 18-year-old ex-girlfriend nowhere to be found. Eyewitness News Inland Empire reporter Leticia Juarez is live at the San Bernardino Police Station with more. Leticia? Well, right now, Nakasha James remains at large. Police say she is suspected of stabbing her ex-boyfriend in the chest following an argument inside the apartment that the two shared. Now, police say shortly after, she took to social media to confess her crime. The victim, 21-year-old Dorian Powell, was found stabbed to death inside this North San Bernardino apartment early Monday morning. Police now want to talk to his ex-girlfriend, Nakazia James, who they say took to social media to tell her side of the story. The investigators have been monitoring her Facebook page and did see um, several of the posts that she made. The now deleted message to family and friends lays out James' version of what may have happened. The 18-year-old wrote in part, Last night my ex was drunk, was fighting me, hit me in the face, and I get the knife and stabbed him. Didn't think I would hurt him. Sorry, Lord, hopefully you forgive me. And sorry, Dorian Powell. Rest in peace. I was standing right here. The post only part of the drama surrounding Powell's death. Apartment manager Melissa De Los Santos points to bullet holes in the upstairs unit. Twenty-one-year-old Dorian Powell was found stabbed to death inside this North San Bernardino apartment early Monday morning. Police now want to talk to his ex-girlfriend, Nakazia James, who they say took to social media to tell her side of the story. I was a cab driver for two years in Atlanta. And one of the rules in the cab business that I had was to tell your story walking. But black women can tell any kind of story. When you told me a story, I needed cash to listen to the story. In certain situations. Although your story is sincere, it sounds like a lie. Investigators have been monitoring her Facebook page and did see um, several of the posts that she made. The now deleted message to family and friends lays out James' version of what may have happened. The 18-year-old wrote in part, Last night my ex was drunk, was fighting me, hit me in the face, and I get the knife and stabbed him. Didn't think I would hurt him. Sorry, Lord, hopefully you forgive me. And sorry, Dorian Powell. Rest in peace. I was standing right here. The post only part of the drama surrounding Powell's death. Apartment manager Melissa De Los Santos points to bullet holes in the upstairs unit the couple shared. You know, I'm sure it was in retaliation for the victim. Five gunshots. The holes were like this big in the window. De Los Santos says she had been standing in the line of fire just five minutes prior to the shooting, but left to close her office. At the time, she says James' mother and brother were inside gathering some belongings and told De Los Santos James was in hiding. She said that her daughter had bruises on her face and she had pictures of that. And she said that he was 
he was being physically violent towards her. According to Los Santos, it was James' brother who witnessed the stabbing. He goes, all she did was stab him one time in the chest and he, and he was gone. Just like that, he was gone. Now in that same post... All she did was stab him in the chest one time. I used to box, um, neighborhood boxing, neighborhood football, high school football, college football. Thank God I never played in the NFL. Though that taught me it's very easy to kill a person. <laughs> you can stare somebody to death like this chick is doing me right now. She's staring me down. Stare me down. All right. That song is out there for anybody who wants to make it into a song because I don't care about songs. But if I did, she's staring me down. I feel like a clown all around town, even on my TV, number seven, San Bernardino is staring me down. So anyway. Allegedly wrote, she also mentions that she is aware that she may soon be caught and that police are searching for her. So far, no word about, so far she has refused to turn herself in. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta watch out for white supremacy, right? Black woman is queen, right? They're whatever they are, but during the, the floods in South Carolina, I, you know what I saw out there? With their boats and their ropes and their big old tires and their country boy Saving people, it was the Confederate loving, wearing nice guys. I don't want to get, I'm, I'm, I'm digressing here. The black woman is the number one enemy. Watch out for dating them white women, because them white women will kill you. They's to take your money. Black women be having the back black men back. We the one be marching for you when the police kill us. Well, let me tell you something, you black whore. You kill black men at a higher clip than the police does. So shouldn't we be marching against your black ass instead of the cops? Hmm. Nakasha, of course you know this is a hood bitch. Her name is Nakasha. Nakasha, this hood bitch in San Bernardino, the little hood bitch from San Bernardino, this hood bitch, this gr niggly bear, I'm telling y'all right now, the niggly bears are more dangerous than grizzly bears. I'd rather be the grizzly man than the niggly man. Nigglies are all over the place, bouncing here and there and everywhere. They'll kill you out like beyond compare. These are some niggly bears. Niggly bears are all over the place. And Nakasha James has taken yet another black life. But guess who you won't see? Black Lives Matter. Nowhere around. Nope. Now, Nakasha actually has been caught. Nakasha was caught. She was on the run. But she's been caught. And she's been jailed. But she had refused to turn herself in. And what happened is some tips from online to the cops turned her in. Some coons apparently turned her in. That's what it was. Some coon ass niggas, some sellouts, some snitches turned in uh, Nakasha. Because you know in the black neighborhood, if a black person do something to a black person, you ain't pulled a tail, white cops. Because you snitch. Now I want all the people who go after coons and say, we need to go after coons. Let me ask you something. Have coons been killing your family members? No. Coons just say things you don't like. Things you don't want to hear. They lick white folks' ass crack clean. And you attack them, yet you say nothing about... Alright, I just want to say something about Coon. I want to learn something about Coon, rather.
short for raccoon, informal, offensive, a black person. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a coon. That's like a long time because a black person lives a long time. Coon. But, like nigger. Did I have nigger in this thing? Oh, shit. Okay, nigger. Noun, offensive. I'm not offended by it. It's a fucking word. Spell on you. Okay. Do you know what a spell is? You guys are so stupid, man. You got these mugs, these 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 African American motherfuckers. Oh, I cannot stand these. I have to put myself in this thing. This is me. I don't wear, you guys have seen my pictures. I don't fucking wear. Logos on me. I don't wear, I mean, these shoes, uh, these boots have, uh, they have their inconspicuous letters of craftsmanship on there because it's craftsmanship. I design my own clothes and then for the most part I have I think I have several things but they only have one impression of a letter. But spell why do you think <laughs> You can you can read something. I can I have read things that have kept me spell bounded. Oh, and anyway. Murder, sell dope, kill, rape, and all that. You say nothing about them. They are safe from your arrows and barbs. Amazing. You don't cook them. <laughs> anyway, let's talk more about Nakasha Jane. Nakasha James and Dorian Power have been dating for a grand total of nine months. Yep. Nine months caused this woman to stab this man. And stab him she did. She took to Facebook and blamed that man. All men around the world need to realize something. Every time a bitch kills you, she claimed you beat her. Have you noticed that? Now, turn that around. Do you know of any men who've been able to kill their woman and claim she beat him? Oh, I'll go a little bit farther since you say, well, it's usually not physically possible. Lionel Richie will tell you that's a lie. But let's move on. Let's move on. The world need to realize something. Every time a bitch kills you, she claimed you beat her. Have you noticed that? Now, turn that around. Do you know of any men who've been able to kill their woman and claim she beat him? Okay. I'll wait. Let's put it on Front Street. 
look around and find anywhere not where okay first of all assignment number one should you choose to accept it find me a video of a man any man any white man except for the guy in germany who shot his girlfriend and got like house arrest <laughs> I don't even, that is a whole nother video or maybe a video that I will never make that he got house arrest. But other than him, name me any man that killed a woman that was able to get off because he was having his period. I'll wait. Send it to me. Oh, I'll go a little bit farther since you say, well, it's usually not physically possible. Lionel Richie will tell you that's a lie. But let's move on. Let's move on to something that is physically possible. Women have killed men and their babies and gotten away with it strictly on the idea of saying they were mentally abusive. Now, you don't have to be a man to be mentally abusive, nor do you have to be grown to be mentally abusive. Yet... You have to be a woman in order to use that as a defense. Because men haven't even been able to use that as a defense. I killed this bitch because she talked too much. And many men should be able to use that. Many men, many men need to be able to kill their bitch because this bitch won't shut the fuck up. I think I'm going to cut this hole right up. That's what needs to be able to happen. But no, men can't do it. And everybody knows women will talk you to death, will not shut the fuck up. But you can't kill them. They'll tell you you got a little dick. You're gay. You ain't got no money. You what? You ugly. You crispy. Ah, you can't kill them. But you say that to a woman. <gasps> He's verbally abusive. He's mentally abusive. I got in trouble for my girlfriend because I abused her because I didn't love the asparagus. How's the potato? Great. How's the how's the, the barbecue? Great. How's the asparagus? They're okay. Okay, I'm calling the police. <laughs> you can get away with any fucking thing. Let's end this thing. It's getting late. What happened, right? When the cops of James was able to kill this man and then go on to Facebook immediately and slander him. They should have never gave you niggas internet. They really shouldn't have because black whores want attention for anything. They twerking in the snow. They twerking in volcanoes. A black bitch will twerk on motherfucking judgment day. They will be twerking on St. Peter. Going through the gate. Going through the gate. Stupid whores. She went straight to Facebook to explain that the man was a bad guy, he was beating her, and then the bitch said she didn't think that stabbing him would hurt him. Y'all didn't hear me. Black Horse said, oh, I didn't think stabbing him would hurt him. Then why did you do it? If he was beating your ass, why would you pick up a knife and stab him? Hmm. Prosecutor, do you want me to help you try this case? Anyway, the horse emperor was posting shit like this on Facebook. And you can go click in the link in the description box to read more of the dumb shit that this bitch, five things you need to know about this dumb whore, is on, uh, is on my website. This dumb whore named Nakasha posted on December the 23rd, 2015. My baby, this what this dumb black bitch spelled it, B-A-B-E-Y. You know black whores can't spell at all. They always shortening words that are already short and lengthening words that's already long. My baby with a B-A-B-E-Y is my everything. Even though, but it's T-H-O, motherfuckers because it's M-F-S. And I'm assuming that's motherfuckers because I speak dumb bitch fluently. Be hating on our relationship. You ever notice that black bitches claim somebody always hating on this bitch? I bet it's a homeless bitch right now with no damn teeth. Talking about somebody hating on her if she black. Anyway, they were hating on our relationship. And Anne, which I don't understand why she put two ampersands, uh, would tag, would tag them BT, he, oh my God, the BT-1000 can't spell. 
would tag um E M B T. I guess that's but he don't. But there's no O. It's D N T. Do F F B, which is Facebook. No more. One word instead of separate. A uh, uh, Illuminati hand signal. <laughs> B T at Dorian Powell. Exclamation mark. Y'all gotta go read this shit. I can't read all this dumb shit this dumb bitch wrote. But y'all gotta go read it. I'm gonna just read some stuff to get you over that. She also wrote a caption on a picture of a two of them, uh, two of them during Christmas Eve. She said, We've been rocking for almost eight months now. I'd rather go through the BS and and some dumbass shit. Argue with um then then move instead of van, she put then. Move to the NXT, not next. Bitch, that's actually warranty. What's next? What's next? What's NXT? Um, the next nigga, but she put N I. Um, I forgot what you call them damn things. Asterisk, asterisk A. Then she put 100 smiley face, heart, hands up. Uh, quotation mark. Dumb black bitches. Dumb. You can't tell them shit either. On December the 29th. She commented on another post of them writing. I think you understand. Do not believe me. Do not believe anybody else. Make your own videos. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> pick out your own clothes. Do your own research. Got your own clothes. <laughs> Do your own research, make your own videos. Remember, I'm looking for a particular picture. <laughs> anyway, remember where there's one, there's no fun. Where there's two, you better run. And where there's three, I will not be. And I think in some cases, that might be me. I hope that I, those are pictures of me, I hope that I bring joy, this is only, I only have one judge, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, do not do not, do not, ever, 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 ever believe me. But just as I ask you not to believe me, don't believe anybody else. Good night.